Okay, so today we're going to be showing you how to watermark brand your listing photos on Photoshop. Um, am I a professional graphic designer? No. Did I learn how to use Photoshop on my own without any training? Yes. So here's what we're going to do. You go up to the window section and you select actions. You're going to select actions to create your script. By doing so, um, you're going to be able to brand your listing photos without having to go in and do it you know to 36 individual photos or however many photos your MLS allows. You create a folder here um, name it whatever you want I named it listing photo script and then you're gonna open the photo or the photos that you want to brand. I selected the first photo here out of my listing photo set and the next thing you're gonna wanna do is open up the file and place the watermark image that you want to be put on all of the photos. You create an action uh, by selecting that photo. You name it whatever you want and then you select record. After you select record you go to the file button and then select place in Photoshop. You're going to place that watermark now. Find where that watermark image, usually a PNG file, works best on all website media, even graphic design, .png works best. It uh, allows you to see transparency, perfect wat for watermarks. Select your watermarked image. Um, I selected this one right here. This will be the watermark that will go on all of the photos, all of the listing photos. We're going to want to place it in the area we want, not too prominently, but you want people to be able to see it. These photos are going to go on non-MLS platforms like your website and social media platforms um, to where your information is prominently displayed. You press record. Okay. And um, um, now you have your script created there. All right. After that's done, you're going to want to go to the next step, which is to do it to all of the images. You're going to want to automate. Um, select scripts in the file section and then select the folder where all of your images are that you want to watermark. Um, I'm selecting all of those photos right now. Um, so put all of those photos in one folder and then this will allow you to select the entire photo, uh, folder. Everything in that folder will be watermarked by doing this. Then you're going to select a folder or location that you want all of those images to be saved as watermarked images. So it will create a separate file with separate images that are watermarked. Okay, we're going to go ahead and do that. After that, you select watermark in the bottom right there, you'll see it, and we're going to run this script. I know this is a little fast, so you might need to go back um, and look how I did this a couple of times. I had to do the same thing and guess what I found this exact information on a YouTube channel I looked up how to do watermarking on Photoshop and right now the script is running it doesn't really show you that it's automatically placing the watermark on each of those photos but it is and after this script is done running um, I'll go ahead and show you how all of these images have been watermarked this saves a lot of time. Um, no one wants to go in and place 36 different watermarks on 36 different images and you know they might not be all in the same place. This puts them all in the same place on every single photo. So um, you know it looks clean, it looks professional. As long as you're getting professional photos, which I recommend for anybody who takes a listing, always hire a professional photographer. Any real estate agent or realtor marketing your property should be hiring a professional photographer. Uh, if you live in Las Vegas and you're thinking about selling your home and your agent's not doing that, give me a call. I definitely will. Um, but for all intents and purposes, this is for real estate agents and realtors looking to market their listings better. Um, do a watermark. Watermark your images on non-MLS websites that you own and your social media platforms. It'll give you a better shot of um, bringing in buyers for your sellers. So right now we're checking the file to see if all of them were watermarked properly. 
it automatically created that JPEG file uh, folder and now we're going through all the images and you can see there that that watermark has been placed on all of those images the next thing that I'm going to be doing oh, it looks like I got a little notification about an appraisal up there the last thing that I'm going to be doing is going ahead and posting these images on my blog, Craigslist, Classified, MyRealtyTimes.com, any site that you can post stuff for free, post these images on, as long as it's not on the MLS, you should be able to do it, check with your broker, make sure it's alright, but that's how you want to mark your listing photos. I hope this helped. My name is Danny Fee with Keller Williams. Um, if you have any questions, please like, comment, share below. I hope this video helped you guys out.